Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jackery Solar Generator 2000 Plus. This kit is a combination of the new Explorer 2000 Plus portable power station and a Solar Saga 100 watt panel. It's got some really great features like 3000 watt continuous output and a 2042 watt hour battery capacity. If you're into the outdoors, camping or off-grid living, then it's quite likely that you've come across one of Jackery's portable power solutions, with over 3 million units sold globally. Let's get them unboxed and take a look. The Explorer 2000 Plus is double boxed for extra protection during shipping. Inside the internal box, we've got the portable power station, some brief manuals, and a pouch with the AC and DC charging cables. It is quite a big power station due to its capacity and features, but they've made sure to keep it portable with sturdy carrying handles on the sides and a set of wheels with a handle to pull it around. It weighs 27.9 kilograms and is 47 centimeters wide, 36 centimeters deep and 37 centimeters high. One thing that sets this apart from some of the other units I've tested is that the AC charger is integrated into the unit as well so you don't need a separate power brick to charge it with, which is really useful. On the front we've got a 12 volt 10 amp car port on the left of the display, with the main power button alongside it. Below that we've got four USB ports, two USB A ports that can do up to 18 watts, and two USB type C ports that support power delivery up to 100 watts. Next to those are two buttons, the left one turns the DC outputs on and off, and the right one turns the AC outputs on and off. Next to those are three AC outlets, which can do up to 3000 watts continuously and a peak of up to 6000 watts. Each individual outlet can do 10 amps or 2200 watts. In the middle of all the power options is the display. This gives you the total remaining charge in a large indicator in the middle, and then the input and output alongside it. These each show you the power currently being put in or drawn out of the unit, and then the time to fully charged or fully empty depending on whether the battery is being charged or drained. It'll also give you the AC inverter voltage and frequency up on the top right when the AC output is on. On the back is a reset for the inverter and then the charging inputs, one AC input for the mains charger and two DC inputs for the DC charging options. On the other side is a port to hook up the expansion batteries, which allows the total capacity to be increased up to 12 kilowatt hours. There are three ways to charge it. The fastest is going to be plugging it into mains power. This will fully charge it from empty in just two hours. They don't mention the mains charger power in the manual, they just say 220 volts 10 amps max. The second way is through solar power. This varies by how many panels you connect to it and how strong the sun is, but with 6 of their 100 watt panels you can get it fully charged in just 5.5 hours. Then lastly you can charge it using your car's 12 volt socket. This will usually take the longest at around 21 hours to fully charge. All of the charging options use their charge shield technology, which has 62 safety features to ensure that the batteries are charged quickly but safely. Next let's take a look at the Solar Saga 100 watt panel. The panel is a foldable design which is magnetically latched together. The monocrystalline cells have a rubberized coating over them, making the panel IP65 waterproof. The panel has an integrated stand which props it up to face the sun. On the back of the panel is a pouch which stores the integrated cable and the hub includes integrated USB ports, one USB type A port and one USB type C port. These allow you to charge mobile devices directly from the panel. I've got the panel hooked up to the Explorer 2000 Plus and it's now set up outside in full sun to charge. The output from the solar panel will be very dependent on the intensity of the sun and how well the panel is facing the sun. To get the maximum power out of it, you need to have it set up directly facing the sun at midday. We get long sunny days in summer, so it shouldn't be too difficult to top up the energy used overnight on camping trips. Energy is stored in a series of lithium iron phosphate cells, which are very durable and reliable. They claim that it'll hold a full charge for one year without needing to be topped up, so it's also great for backup power. Unlike gel batteries or lead acid batteries which are often used in camping rigs, the Explorer 2000's batteries will last over 4000 cycles and still retain 70% of their original capacity. That's over 10 years of life when used for a full cycle every day. 
After a few hours in the sun, it's up to 35% charged, so let's plug it into the main supply to let it charge the rest of the way. With the mains charger, charging starts off a little over 1700 watts, but you'll see that this drops down to around 1100 watts after a few minutes. At this charge rate, it should be full in less than an hour and a half. Jackery also have an app that you can use to control the unit through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Through the app we can see the power input and output, turn inputs or outputs on and off, control the display settings, and even access a range of other settings like the ability to quietly charge at a lower power, and run the battery in battery saving mode to extend battery life. Short pressing the power button turns off the display, which is really useful if you've got it running in a tent overnight. Now that we've got some additional charge inserts, let's try powering some devices. I'll try the DC car outlet first. Plugging in an electric air pump, we get a power draw of around 40 watts, and we can run the pump for 41 hours with the remaining 55% charge. Next let's try the USB ports. The USB-C ports support power delivery up to 100 watts. So if I plug my laptop into it, we get a maximum draw of a little over 90 watts when booting up, and this then drops down to 40 watts. I can add an iPad to the other port, adding another 20 watts, and then my iPhone to get another 10 watts. Next I'm going to try the AC outlets, and I'll do so with two 3D printers and a laser engraver. First we'll plug it in and start a print on my Ender 3 S1. It's currently drawing over 350 watts, but it draws a lot more on startup when the bed and extruder heat up, and this should settle down to around 100 watts. With that going, let's add my P1S. That adds a much higher load on startup with a more powerful bed heater. We're now using over 1000 watts. Lastly, we'll add the laser engraver. I've got the laser engraver hooked up to an air filtration system, which I'll also power using the Explorer 2000 Plus. Combined, we're drawing an average of around 300 to 400 watts, which means we'll get about two and a half hours of runtime from the remaining battery capacity. Fifteen minutes later, the engraving is now complete and the Explorer 2000 Plus is still going strong. I'm going to stop the prints there, and let's now try plug in something that'll draw closer to its limit. I'm going to power an electric grill. This draws 1100 watts on each element, so it should load up one of the AC outlets near its maximum. The Explorer 2000 Plus is handling the first without any issues, so let's try adding the second. After around 15 minutes, the grill is now hot and the Explorer 2000 Plus is still running perfectly, although the battery is now running low. If the battery was full to start, then we'd have almost an hour's worth of grilling time at 2000 watts. So this is a really powerful all-in-one solution that's perfect for camping trips, days outdoors, and off-grid living, especially with an expansion battery that can extend the capacity up to 12 kilowatt hours. That should keep you going for a whole week. Check out the links in the video description if you'd like to get your own Explorer 2000 Plus or Solar Generator 2000 Plus kit. They're packed with features and Jackery even offer a 3 plus 2 year warranty on the power station. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.